If the features given in a custom ROM do not fulfill your needs, well then custom kernels are there to give you extra features with performance and battery tweaks. So I've selected the alpha kernel as the best kernel in this because it provides extra features. Rather the shock chain kernel is there which gives you just performance and battery tweaks. So let's get started with the kernel itself. Now most of these tweaks are actually hidden in the uh, trickster mod app or any such app which can view the extra features that a kernel provides. So as you can see I'm running on alpha kernel. The build is 2.0.1 but remember that this kernel frequently updates itself so make sure you stay with the updated feature and it gets nearly stable. It's rock solid actually already. So over here in trickster mod app we can view a lot of different things that the kernel provides us. Taking a deeper look, in the info we get the battery status and the device status. Now in tool section we don't have anything much special but in general over here you can control the CPU. So CPU governor I'm not going to be explaining each and every CPU governor but in general let's say we choose the interactive CPU governor this is just the general governor which the system actually has to say in default if there was no custom kernel. In power saver, as it says, it's direct. And in performance, you can actually have your minimum frequency on the highest level and that should do the job. But if you don't want to mess around with CPU governors and IO schedulers, well, then leave it to the alpha kernel's default CPU governor that's alpha and just set the CPU gar frequency at minimum level. Now saving this settings right there let's move on to the main special features that this kernel actually provides us with in the specific tab. Right, so on the top we have force fast charge. Now what this does is this does not help you charge fastly on an AC adapter that is plugged in right onto your wall but this helps you to get fast charging when your device is actually connected using a USB cable to your laptop or your computer. So in that case if you want to fast charge your phone using your data cable then that's possible using this mod. Over here we have Intelli plug and MP station well, these both are alternatives. You don't really need that. Multi-power core saving when you are in need of battery. Do try this out. ZRAM, as it says, that is it. Now in screen wake feature, we have something special that is sweep to wake and double tap to wake. Let's check it out. Now enabling both of these out, let's just turn off the device. I mean, turn off the display and this is double tap display. So double tapping on a turn off display actually wakes up your device. You don't really even have to touch the power button to wake your device. Even swiping over the screen actually works like that and it's pretty stable enough. But there is a bug in the version that I'm using right now that when the battery actually drops down below 50% you might face screen freeze so for that it's compulsory that you stay updated with the kernel itself now in sound control you can actually maximize the speaker volume much more than that of the system default volume so in that case you can hear a lot of noise but the sound quality is actually sacrificed and it's better if you turn it off because that can damage your speaker. Now to see if this kernel actually provides us with good performance or not, I also recorded a score using the Untutu benchmark. So I've recorded three different scores using Untutu benchmark. Now 14,947. The highest score recorded was with this alpha kernel. Now this score might actually change depending on your device, the apps you use and the stuffs that running on background but 
this is the best kernel in my opinion so that was pretty much it if you like this video do leave the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to watch more such stuff coming up thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one Are you ready for the